Now let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. This week, church leaders protect the legacy of an early church pioneer. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History, a week of new institutions. On January 27, in 1986, the de facto Adventist leadership in the Soviet Union agreed a plan to create a seminary in the Tula region in Western Russia. Despite fierce opposition from local authorities, for this was the days of communism after all, the school was constructed in record time and opened its doors to 16 students in September of that year. Today, Zalkski Adventist Seminary and Institute has some 600 students and 40 faculty and stands as a testament to the guidance of God and the perseverance of Adventist leaders in Russia. On January 28, 1980, a continent away in Kenya's Rift Valley, classes started for 20 students at the University College of Eastern Africa, today the University of East Africa Baraton. The university boasts a faculty now of over 200 and has nearly 2,000 students from many countries. On January 29, 1933, the Ellen G. White estate was legally incorporated. In her will, Ellen White had named five church leaders as the trustees of her estate. The trustees appointed for life were largely tasked with managing her voluminous writings after her death in 1915. And those trustees decided to make the arrangement permanent, and the 1933 incorporation laid the foundation for the White estate as we know it today. The successors to those first trustees bring Ellen White's writings to ever greater audiences. That was This Week in Adventist History.